Hi, you just watched the sermon, The Global Financial Crisis in Light of the Bible. I wanted to make a quick postscript video and show you something that I wasn't able to show in the sermon. In the sermon, I explained the first two entities that were to blame for the global financial crisis were number one, the government, and number two, Wall Street or the financial institutions. Now, in this country, liberals and conservatives will argue who was to blame of these two groups. The liberals will say Wall Street was to blame and the conservatives will say that the government was completely to blame. I wanna show you a graph that shows you that that's really a fool's errand trying to figure out which of those two entities was to blame when in fact they're both working together. If you take a look at this graph, you'll see the red line shows you um, what the Federal Reserve has actually done since 2010 and if you look at the red line, this is what we would be, what we would know as money printing or <clears throat> inflation is actually what it actually is. The government, you see, they, they call it quantitative easing to make it sound better for you, to make it easier to stomach that they are basically stealing um, your bank account from you. It's basically a, a hidden tax on the American people. So if you look at that red line and then look at the blue line, you'll notice that these two lines follow each other. As a matter of fact, the red line actually precedes the moves in the blue line. What is the blue line? The blue line is the S&P 500 or the stock market in the United States. So to try to figure out who's more to blame, the government or the Wall Street bankers and financial institutions is a fool's errand because what you need to understand is the principalities and powers at the top of both of these organizations, the government and Wall Street, are working towards the same goals. And those goals are against you. So I hope you enjoyed the sermon. Make good choices. Follow the Bible. God bless you and have a great week.